My name is Zhou Ziqi from West China Second University Hospital. Next, I will introduce our study briefly, named Association Between Myocardial Oxygenation and Fibrosis in Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy. Analysis by Rest Oxygenation Sensitive Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, caused by inactive dystrophin protein, is a neck-linked systemic muscle degenerative disease. Cardiomyopathy has become the major cause of death in DMD patients. Previous studies have demonstrated that the impairment of endothelial function, abnormal calcium L passport, inflammation, and decreased Respiratory, respiratory function may lead to declines in oxygen extraction in the dystrophic heart and further develop into myocardial hypoxia. Oxygenation-sensitive cardiac magnetic resonance imaging is a non-invasive contrast-independent technique for mapping and monitoring cardiac oxygenation changes and has been applied in many cardiac diseases providing new ideas into the underlying pathophysiology of different cardiomyopathy. This study aimed to determine the feasibility and sensitivity of OS cardiac MRI modality in early detecting the alterations of myocardial oxygenation and further to explore the potential association between myocardial fibrosis and hypoxia in DMD. This study prospectively recruited DMD patients and age-matched health boys who undergoing cardiac MRI for separate clinical indications. The cardiac MRI examinations was completed using a three-Tesla system equipped with an 18-channel receiver coil. The cardiac MRI protocols included OS imaging, sign, native T1 mapping, and LGE sequence. The cardiac MRI data were analyzed by CVI-42 software. When LGE was presented in at least one segment, patients were considered to be LGE-positive patients. And according to the LGE results, patients were divided into LGE positive and LGE negative groups. Statistical methods used in the study included student's t test, univariable and multivariable logistic regression analysis, and so on, by SPS. PRISM and uh, MEDICOC software. The baseline characteristics are listed in Table 1. 91 DMD boys and 30 age-matched healthy control are included. DMD patients have a higher LVESV than normal, despite the fact that the LVEF of DMD boys with LGE falls within the normal range, but it is still notably lower compared to controls. Table 2 shows the native T1 and oxygenation SI for each set of segments. In patients without LGE, the oxygenation SI of all segments except the septal segments exhibited a significant decrease compared with those of the controls. Notably, for patients with LGE, a further and significant reduction in oxygenation SI was observed observed in all segments relative to the controls. Oxygenation SI significantly decreased not only in LGE positive segments, but also in LGE native segments of DMD patients with and without LGE compared to the controls. And in LGE negative patients, the oxygenation SI of the anterior inferior Infralateral and uh, anterolateral free wall segments were lower than septal segments, especially the inferior septal segments. For all DMD patients, there was a negative correlation between oxygenation SI and native T1 in LGE native segments.
In subgroup LGE-positive patients, oxygenation assay showed a modest but significant negative correlation with native T1 in both LGE-negative and positive segments. And in subgroup LGE-negative patients, it was found that oxygenation assay in the inferior lateral and anterior lateral segments also related to the native T1. Furthermore, multivariate regression analysis showed that inferior lateral oxygenation assay was the only oxygenation parameter that was independently associated with LGE. And uh, oxygenation assay in the free wall, especially the inferior lateral and the anterior lateral oxygenation assay, had high sensitivity and moderate specificity for diagnosing myocardial hypoxia by ROC analysis. There are also some limitations of this study. First, this was a single center study and using single magnet single field strength MRI scanner, and the ECV was not used in this study. At last, our study found a significant decreased oxygenation assay in all segments of DMD patients, especially LGE segments. Myocardial hypoxia is related to myocardial fibrosis, demonstrated by the association analysis of oxygenation assay and native T1 value. Myocardial hypoxia can be found in DMD patients by feasible and sensitive oxygenation singles using the non-invasive oxygenation sensitive cardiac MRI technique. Myocardial oxygenation may be a quantitative imaging biomarker and its correlation with fibrosis might potentially provide new insights into the underlying pathophysiological process of myocardial fibrosis in DMD cardiomyopsy. Thanks for your watching.